Hi guys, I'm Andy and welcome back to Backpacking UK. Today I'll be reviewing my mate's Jetboil Flash 2.0. If you love your Jetboil products, check out my other items because I've got reviews on the Jetboil Minimo, Jetboil Summit Skillet and Jetboil Ceramic Cookpot. Um, I'm also going to see once and for all if you can cook on the Jetboil Flash. So please subscribe and then you'll be notified when my next video comes out. I'm also going to be reviewing this in a head-to-head -head against my Jetball Mini Mo 2. So if you subscribe, you'll be notified when those videos come out. So anyway, let's have a look at this Jetball review to review the Jetball Flash 2.0 camp stove. This jet boil flash cooking system is primarily designed to boil water fast and by fast I mean crazy fast. It boils half a litre of water in just a hundred seconds. That's really fast so if, you, if you're in a rush this is the camping stove to buy. It's uh, 180 uh, millimetres tall by 104 millimetres wide and weighs just 371 grams. So it's seriously impressive for a compact uh, camp stove. Um, so let's just take a look. It's got a nice thick lid um, with a sip bit and a strainer and it's also got a hole for a coffee press. So that's the lid. Then in here, you've got the burner, which is really nice made burner with an igniter as well. Uh, inside here, I've got the canister stand. I've also got the Jetboil pot support too. And this is what I'll be testing out in my next review. Uh, I'll be testing it out with my Jetboil Summit skillet um, to see if I can actually properly cook food on this Jetboil Flash 2.0. Is it just a one trick pony, just boiling water, or can it cook food? We'll see, see next time. Um, and then I've just got a um, 100, 110 gram canister in there. So, it's a cracking bit of kit really. I really like the size of this Jetboil Flash. I actually prefer the size to my Jetboil Minimo. Um, it's got a little cup at the bottom too. And it's got a really nice cozy. Um, so once you do boil that water, um, it's not gonna get cold straight away. Um, so let's get half a liter of water in here. Um, and let's give it a go, let's give it a try. Okay, so this jet ball flash is all assembled, so let's give it a go. So let's crank it right up to the top. Let's see what it can do. Sounds great, this uh, jet ball flash. So the canister's fairly full, so it should be on max power. It's a little bit windy today. Bit. let's see how long it takes okay so that didn't take long at all it's come to the boil just so you prove it ready one two three that is boiling away let's turn it off and that's it so one thing i do like about this jet boil flash is that it's got this indicator um, on the cosy so it goes orange uh, when it reaches boiling point which I think is great. It's also got a little indicator um, in the pot which tells you which is the max safe level which it says it's two cups which I'm assuming is 500 milliwater or half a litre. Um, but it's a, if, if, if you just want a camping stove to boil water and you want an all-in-one system, this is, this is a great option, really good option. I think it's about $110, which probably means in the UK it's about £110 here. Like I say, this is my mate's. Suits him perfectly because he's not interested in cooking at all. He just wants to boil water and use that water for hot drinks and dehydrated meals. Me, on the other hand, I prefer to cook, so I've bought myself a Jetboil Minimo instead of a Jetboil Flash. 
Um, so again, if you subscribe, I'm going to do like a head to head between these two um, and just review them both, both on their merits, um, just to see who comes out on top. So if you like this review, please give us a like, check out my other reviews. Like I say, I've got loads of jet boil reviews out there, so check them out. Please subscribe because there's plenty more of this to come. Cheers.